so I think I think we're sort of you know somewhere midway there uh, so if you if you'd asked me this question one year back I would have said flat out no I think you know Indian brands are not leveraging uh, you know the brand ambassadors well I think there are a lot of logistical reasons for that so one is that you know one year back in the eyes of the market your social media hadn't scaled as much so when they look at it from a cost perspective they say you know Priyanka Chopra is my brand ambassador if I get her for one day for your online video uh, is it really worth it? Or if I, even if I get up for half a day for a music video, and I, I mean, if you quantify that in terms of monies, it's you know, it's 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 probably more than what the social media agency would charge as a retainer throughout the year, so that half a day. So so from that perspective, I think you know it, it was a catch twenty two for brands on how to use the ambassadors. But I think a lot of brands are doing it very very smartly now. Uh, so again, disclaimer: these are some brands that I work with, which is which is which is why uh, you know I'd be able to give you an idea about this, but. Uh, so, for example, there's Maybelline, who's just roped in Alia Bhatt as the brand ambassador. And uh, uh, they they didn't shoot a TVC with Alia Bhatt immediately. But they had a property where they had 6,000 songs crowdsourced through their Facebook community to, to create... Uh, 6,000 kisses uh, crowdsourced through their Facebook community to create a song. So, the song is very catchy, very peppy. Uh, they shot the music video with a bunch of young models. Uh, and the video turned out to be fabulous and then they said that you know I mean if I want to make it even better I'm going to get my brand ambassador here so they included uh, Alia Bhatt in what was essentially an online music video so I think you know the, the property in itself is scalable so they included Alia Bhatt they took half day out uh, got her to shoot with uh, you know got her to shoot wherever she was so we went down to Ahmedabad shot with her uh, that music video so with Alia Bhatt in it became a lot more powerful and you know a, a nice extendable media property for the brand which then led to the press conference to launch the music video and Alia Bhatt so it was essentially an online property uh, which was being launched by a press conference which is very different now you you wouldn't see that too often you know uh, a year back so launching a, a, a property with uh, you know with with the brand ambassador which is essentially a digital property which is I think a sea of change in terms of the thinking uh, so I think now they're sort of seeing you know how they can actually leverage the ambassador to uh, you know sort of get more uh, PR get more viral get more uh, you know uh, uh, get more uh, long-term content so also when we shot with Alia but for the music video we created a lot of behind the scenes content so a lot of simple stuff where she came and said things into the camera uh, so pre-planning stuff for the future so in that four hours essentially you're trying to extend content worth three months uh, so I think that's where you know sort of agencies have also become smarter in terms of utilizing brand ambassadors brands have become smarter in terms of how they leverage the value of brand ambassadors in a larger way uh, and uh, you know sort of I think I think the answer lies in creating larger properties so if if the property is large enough I think the brand will take the push and I think now that stage of evolution has come where brand ambassadors are being integrated into digital properties or uh, another example is how uh, how Ghania men has used John Abraham for the launch of one of their campaigns power light village uh, so power light village is essentially a digital campaign but for that digital campaign they had John Abraham doing a press launch for power light village because it's a digital campaign that they really believed in which uh, you know which also sort of works in terms of their brand so the brand uh, has a guiding philosophy of take care so take care of yourself and take care of the environment uh, and power light of village which is you know essentially a concept where you can uh, where Ghana has dedicated 50 percent of their digital budget to just light up villages across the country uh, I think that really stands a testament of the kind of uh, you know sort of the kind of brand philosophy that Ghana has which is where they roped in John Abraham John Abraham created a lot of online content a lot of press content um, so I think I think those 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 worlds are sort of blurring another way Ghana men also you know sort of leveraged brand ambassadors for online is they've used uh, they just recently did a Google Plus hangout again to promote Paulida village with uh, Rahul Ravid, Kumar Sangakara, VVS Lakshman, Chris Srikanth, Paddy Upton uh, so I mean these are cricketing legends that they've got on to one single Google Plus hangout so I think that's where brands are really seeing, you know, the value in using faces uh, effectively and smartly to, you know, sort of create a big, create a big difference online and to create uh, something more impactful and meaningful. So I think, I think now brands are starting to use their celebrity ambassadors a lot, lot more effectively, whether it's in things like behind the scenes shoots, uh, whether it's in, you know, sort of creating content as the behind the scenes happen 
or whether it's you know sort of using them for big properties like press launches google plus hangouts music videos so i think celebrities are being increasingly well used in digital and i see this trend just going forward